housing is one of four main priorities of the decade of Roma inclusion. Housing should and need to be an integral part of improvement of life of Roma. Often housing situation is driving force for change, both for worse and for better. Yet, very often, housing is somehow left behind when we are talking about practical implementation of policies, concepts or theories. Why is that? Is it because of lack of financial, financial resources? Or do we really believe that if we invest sufficient energy and means to education and employment, we will somewhat solve housing on the way? Or maybe the problem is vast intolerance and discrimination of society when it comes to investments to housing for Roma. I think that these are questions that we will seek answers to throughout this two days conference. Without any doubt and without need for two days discussion, we must say that there is a need for constant addressing of issue of housing within the decade of Roma inclusion framework not only in order to exchange good and best practices on national or local level, but to constantly remind us that housing is a human rights issue. And once individuals or group is ripped of distinguished condition for living, all aspects of life are deteriorating. Furthermore, that we need to find solutions and measures that will work for people at local level and we need to constantly measure it throughout its implementation in order not to lose our focus, as it often happens. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that this conference, as well as priorities of the Czech Presidency to the Decade of Roma Inclusion, should contribute and will contribute to the effort of the Decade of Roma Inclusion to address issue of housing constantly. The goal of this com two days conference, hence, is to, exper uh, to, exper uh, to exchange experiences uh, and to discuss examples of good local and national practices and to think what are elements of their transferability. Second, to remind us or introduce global as well as European standards pol and policies and practices on affordable housing. Third, to discuss money issue and any other problems that may come up with implementation of housing problems. And last but not least, to discuss issue of linkage between international, national and local standards as practices and practices as well as, as, well as monitoring. Ladies and gentlemen, before I give a floor to the first speaker of today's panel, one last thought, which should be as a buggy as something that we should all be aware of and do everything what we can do to stand up to it. Just when we had the last International Steering Committee in Prague in autumn 2010, Mayor of town Holeshov executed his plan of moving socially excluded, mainly Roma, to newly set up module boxes on outskirts of the town. You re may remember that five years ago we dealt with the similar problem if not the same case in town of Setin. I do not need to describe you what this change meant and will mean for quality of life of those who need to or had to move. My fear is that mayors of towns throughout Czech Republic, but also elsewhere, will not listen our ideas, speeches and plans. They will choose the easiest way, which in addition will bring them support of majority. Hence, we need to insist and find any possible legal way to ban this practice of further segregation and deterioration of quality of life. We need to ban the possibility of financing such affordable plastic housing from state or EU funds. We need to constantly remind ourselves that there are some principles that we need to follow so nicely worded in 10 basic principles on Roma integration that Czech Republic introduced to the European Union. I believe that throughout upcoming two days, we will discuss different positive practices, as well as preventive steps 
not to face similar situations again.